I'm Allie, and I'm going to be talking about how Hasura makes learning to code a little bit easier. So I teach people how to code both as my job and as my hobby. I am a lead instructor at General Assembly where I teach people to code as my full-time job all day, every day, teaching people from hello world up until they are professional developers. And then I've also been really privileged to teach a lot of people through online platforms as well, through videos and uh, podcasting and blogging and all that. So definitely have some experience seeing new developers learn to code and something that I get to do every day. So I got to try Hasura for the last time, first time. Can I edit that piece? So I tried Hasura for the first time last year and my mind was blown. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Uh, Rajoshi came on my podcast, the Ladybug podcast that I host with two other women, and I was super, super amazed by the technology. I've also gotten to teach with it a couple of times too. So I have a workshop that's up and a blog post on how to use Hasura, and it's been so cool to see how easily some new developers can get started with it and how much more accessible it makes coding for them. And it would have made my life a lot easier too back in the day. So I started using GraphQL pretty much exactly when it came out. And it was really, really, really tough at that point. I was working on a Django backend and getting GraphQL set up for it was a really, really, really painful process. I remember there was pretty much no documentation for how to make a GraphQL query, let alone how to hook it into a Django app, let alone how to then hook it into a view front end after that fact. It was really, really tough. and. I, at that point, just thought that GraphQL was really hard and that it wasn't technology that would work for me. So I came into Hasura biased against GraphQL for that reason, but was completely taken back by how accessible it was to create endpoints with um, Hasura instead of having to set up GraphQL from zero by yourself. And with Hasura, it just takes a couple clicks to get a full backend up and running. And there are full guides for hooking Hasura into a bunch of different technologies, so you don't need to use it in isolation. I've always been really, really impressed by that. There's even a button to try out Hasura on Heroku in 30 seconds and have a whole entire deployed application ready for you to use with just a couple clicks. Pretty incredible. It also allows everybody to be a full stack developer. It can be really challenging to see all the different technologies that you have to learn in order to get something up and running, like even just a GraphQL application. Think about having to write that whole entire back end from scratch, the whole entire front end from scratch, connecting them from zero, connecting to the database from zero, doing all the queries. That's pretty intimidating. and the world of front-end development has really expanded over the years as well from just html and css and a little bit of javascript to fully javascript and then thinking about hooking into graphql where you can make queries directly and all that that's a lot that's put on front-end developers and hasura enables anybody to make that process a little bit easier so that instead of having to write all of the code yourself a lot of that is provided for you so everybody can write a full stack application even if you are just a relatively new front-end developer so pretty cool you may have seen this diagram of what it means to be a full stack developer where you know one part of the stack really well and then the other part of the stack maybe not so well so in this case maybe a really strong front-end developer who's really great at that, but then has to do a little bit more back-end work and maybe that doesn't go so well. Um, 
Hasura makes it so that that developer doesn't have to worry too, too much about all that backend code. So makes that process a lot more simple. You can build an API and a GraphQL endpoint without having to worry too, too much about writing all of the code yourself. So I want to talk a little bit about teaching and my first rule is to teach the pool, not the ocean. So it can be tempting to give your input on absolutely everything, teach every detail that you know about something. And that doesn't normally hurt, help your learners because giving it to them simply at first, teaching them one way to do things, that's going to simplify the new topic for them and make it so that it's not super intimidating for them. And with Hisura, instead of having to teach them every single piece of writing a backend and doing that from absolute zero, instead you can teach them the pieces that they really need to get something working and something that they can be proud of just demonstrating. So Hisura allows you to teach maybe just the front end piece of programming instead of working too, too hard on the back end side. Another big piece of this is to instill confidence and celebrate people's wins, especially when they're starting off. There's a lot of imposter syndrome and a lot of feelings of this never going to be something that they can do. And that's something that I really dealt with when I was learning to program. And so something like Hasura allows students to have quick wins where they can build something that displays in the browser or connects to that back end or displays their data without having to do a massive amount of work. And that's going to make them more confident. It's going to make them feel like they can build applications and they're going to be able to celebrate that when they see what they've built in the browser. Another really awesome thing is gamifying learning. So making it so that they're building games, building things that are interactive, um, things that are fun, that's going to make it more entertaining for them. In addition, writing game logic is usually a lot more difficult than basic application logic that we might use day to day. And so it's a really great challenge for that. And I have had a ton of fun building games with Hasura. So I built this real time drawing application where you can click on any of the pixels and the colors and draw things in right now. Some people have made it maybe not so attractive and you can have it with multiple users. Please edit this part out. Thank you. So I can have two tabs open of this game and you can see that it updates in real time. So when I'm drawing on this tab, it's also drawing on this tab. And it's the same thing across computers. And doing this, implementing this in Hasura is not an overly difficult process. It's just changing your GraphQL query to a subscription which is pretty awesome. You have this fully real-time application that you can use. Another thing I like to talk about is the gradual release of responsibility. And the gradual release of responsibility is when at first you give a lot of structured instructions, things are really handed to students and it's a little bit more handheld. But then as you move on, that responsibility is released to the students and it's more on them to research things and teach things themselves and extend the learnings and interpret instructions in a little bit more of a loose manner. And Hasura allows for that as well, where it can start really simple and just have a couple clicks to build it out uh, back end, but then you can go more in depth on that and build something more complex or hook Hasura up to a back end that you built yourself or build it through the command line instead of the Heroku one-click button. So Hasura definitely enables the gradual release of responsibility as well. And then building things. The best way to learn something is to do it yourself. And Hasura allows you to build full stack web applications without having to know a million different tools and technologies and also be able to deploy it without a huge amount of effort as well. And so you can have these portfolio projects that are released to the public and other people can see without having to go super, super wild with learning everything. So you can build things 
show them off and all that using a Hasura app. Using a Hasura app. Well, I hope that was a good introduction to a little bit of teaching tips and how Hysteria can help with learning these new things. So if you want to learn more about teaching or ask me any questions about any of this, I also have some Hysteria tutorials on my profile. Keep in touch. I'm at Ace Fiddle everywhere. Thanks.